Hi, I'm Susie. I hated my daughter for so long. Now, before you judge me and call me all sorts of names for being a bad mother and all of that, I'd like you to hear my story. Typical story of boy meets girl and they fall in love. Nothing special. James and I graduated from college with good grades, but getting jobs became an exhausting task. I worked as a waitress to earn some money while James was hunting for a real job. Everything is going to be fine, sweetie, I usually said with tears in my eyes, which I quickly blinked away. We went to bed hungry most nights. There were some times I stole food from the cafe just so we'd have something to eat. I was cut one day and given a strict warning. A short time after, I found out I was pregnant and I wept like a baby. We were barely surviving and now we were about to add another mouth to feed and all the difficulties that came with having a baby. Everything's going to be fine, James consoled me, even though he felt like crying himself. I won't bore you with the details of my pregnancy. Suffice it to say that getting pregnant was the worst mistake of my life. James changed after I gave birth. He started to neglect me and do everything I hated and get angry when our daughter cried. But no, that wasn't when I started hating my daughter. James became a stranger and started getting phone calls from women. When I confronted him, he finally said that he's seen someone else and doesn't want me anymore. I couldn't believe he'd do that after all we'd been through together. I was devastated as I watched him leave the house without even asking for forgiveness or begging for a second chance. That was about 13 years ago. It was very hard for me bringing up my daughter alone, without a good job, but I managed just fine. Even if I went to bed hungry, I made sure Nora's stomach was filled. I was there for every school play, recital, ballet, bake sale, and so much more. James was nowhere to be found. A few years ago, I won the lottery and was finally able to start my own business and earn a great amount of money monthly. It felt like life was finally rewarding me after all the hard obstacles I faced. But what did my daughter do? When she was 10 years old, she found a picture in between the pages of an old novel, a picture of James and I holding her when she was still a baby. She came asking, and I shut her down. Had I known... I should have told her James was dead. After all, he was dead to me. Four months ago, I discovered that Nora had been communicating with her father for the past three years. She took that photograph and went investigating with the help of her friends and found him. I can't tell you how betrayed I felt. After everything I did for her, we had a major fight when she wanted to spend the summer with him. How dare you do this to me? How dare you go and meet that man who abandoned you? You ungrateful child. After all I sacrificed for you, I screamed like a banshee. Mom, please stop. My 13-year-old daughter shouted as she stuffed clothes into her bag. Why should I? It's because he's rich, isn't he? But I earn a lot of money now as well. And I did everything I could to make you happy. I was so mad at her, but yelled at the top of my voice. Yes, James later got his dream job. With tears in her eyes, she said, Oh, Mom, how can you say that? She left the house with me still shouting at her. That was the beginning of so many quarrels. I felt betrayal so strong, it was bordering on hatred. I told her everything I went through in the hands of her father, but she still went ahead to have a relationship with him. It got to a point... Nora and I no longer spoke to each other. Now you know why I can't stand her. It might seem petty to you, but I can't describe the hurt I feel. I hope you understand why I feel so betrayed, but what happened later might shock you even more. A month ago, James died of cancer, which I feel karma slapped him with. Nora was so inconsolable, but... I couldn't feel pity for the man who not only broke my heart, but stole my daughter as well. Wicked of me, right? I'm sorry, but that's the way I felt. 
That day, Nora walked into the room in a plain black dress, looking like her father died. Well, he did. Her eyes were puffy from weeping, and I wished with all my heart that she'd be this sorrowful when I died. She walked to where I was calmly seated and threw a letter in my face. What's this? I asked. It's a letter from Dad to you. Get it away from me, I snapped. Read it, for goodness sake, she yelled and rushed out of the room. After staring at the letter for a moment, I opened it resentfully and read it. What I read was not what I expected from James. My dear Susie, the only woman I ever loved. This letter will come as a surprise to you, but I feel I have to explain things so that you can stop hating me even in death. I'm so sorry for ruining your life. When you told me you were pregnant, it was bittersweet news to me. I was happy the woman I loved was pregnant with my child, but I knew what it would do to you as things were very difficult for us then. But what you didn't know then was that I was diagnosed with cancer. I couldn't tell you and ruin that amazing moment for us. I know that what I did was wrong, but I didn't have any idea what I should do. So I pretended to be with someone else and started to treat you badly just so you would leave. I didn't want you and our daughter to go with me through this horrible journey of fighting cancer. I'm so sorry, my love. I died the day I left you, but I thought it was for the best. I sent you money through your I sent you money through your boss every opportunity I got and made him call it a raise. You didn't win the lottery, my love. I sent you that money immediately after I made my first million, and I'm happy you used it to set up your dream business, which has made you live in comfort with our daughter ever since. I beat cancer a while before that, but I was told the chances are high that I would become sick again, so I couldn't risk it. I wanted to love you from afar, but I couldn't die before meeting Nora. When she found me that day, I couldn't help but take her into my life. She's a wonderful daughter, thanks to you. I'm glad you found happiness without me. I'm so sorry for everything. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. I love you. Tears ran down my eyes in waves. Nora came into the living room, stared at me with pity in her eyes, and sat down to draw me into her arms. We cried together. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wept pitifully. It's okay, Mom. You didn't know. He explained everything to me when we met for the first time, but he told me to keep it from you. I had to respect his wishes. He was afraid you'd get back together, and then he dies and leaves you in tears. But I convinced him to write everything in this letter. That moment, my daughter and I connected again. I regretted all the time I spent hating her and her father. Maybe it's too late now, and I can never tell James how I feel. I want to punch him in the face for doing this to me, but also to hug him and kiss him and forget all the pain. It's too late. But it is not too late to love our daughter. The fruit of our love forever.